staring at me like you never saw a trophy wife before. I've had it. I found this at the Holy Jesus Bible Society thrift store there. Have your girls ever gone there? It, it's uh, totally worth the drive. I don't know why people get saved and they have to give away all of their good <laughs> I'm serious. It's so hot. <laughs> There's nothing but horse dresses everywhere. I swear to God. I mean it. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give it up for Vicky Barberlack, everybody. Come on. This almost fits. I'm so close. I'm gonna go with it. This is gonna go. She's a keeper. My name is Vicky Barberlack, and I have two daughters. No, my kids don't think I'm funny. No, they don't. They they think I'm uh, I'm a I'm just a large bowl of embarrassment. And it's something I enjoy very much. I go to PTA meetings like this. I'm not going to lie to you. I do, I do. I sit down and I can just feel the air just getting sucked out of the room, you know? So a long time ago, I learned to do this. I'm telling this to the young mom. I learned, what I do is I just sit by the tattoo moms, right? Because those girls are so clueless, right? They're unbelievable. They're like, excuse me. I think we should move the kindergarten play area down by the first grade. And you're looking and there's dudes' names written and crossed out and written again, right? And right here it says, let go of my ears. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh man, right? You're at school, cover that up, you know? That's so crazy. I know I look all smart and stuff, but I'm no Paula Poundstone. I'm not like a political comic, but I do, I do go around the schools and I'm just getting a little miffed, you know, because the schools are so broke, right? But I, I'm serious, I go to my kid's school, I roll up there, I feel like I'm at a Jakarta flea market. You know what I'm talking about, girl? I mean it. Teachers are outside, hey! Can you help me out with some tape? I, seriously, the principal's got a squeegee doing my windshield and <laughs> Back off, bitch. <laughs> got you Wednesday. It's so nuts. I think you have to have a sense of humor to be a mom. Every mom has got to have a sense of humor. If you're gonna have children and take that abrupt, you know, just the rest of your life is not yours anymore. You're constantly in battle. You've got to find things to laugh at because it's a, it's a thankless, horrible job. Yeah, it's so hard being a mom. My kids are just out of control, crazy. My 16-year-old, she says she wants to go to Coachella, right? The Coachella. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. And she wants me to get her a motel room. Hell yeah, right. I'm like, you are 16 years old. If you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, Send you to that fancy Catholic school for nothing. <laughs> My oldest daughter, academically number one in her class, so that did, thank you, Diane, thanks. And, and she was on the homecoming court this year, so some of the girls know, that's so special. It's, it's really not such a big deal because she is homeschooled, but still, I like to encourage them. And, so Dr. Phil says, we gotta take care of that. Oh my God. I'm in therapy. Okay, I just wanna say, this is all being taken care of. It's all being taken care of. It's like a status symbol though. I'm in therapy. I'm in ther it was actually a court order in my case. So it's really cool. And you have to be really careful with therapists. Very careful, right? Because it's their only job to find wrong with you? I mean, that's what they have to do. Like, they can't be, hey, you look pretty good. Give me a thousand bucks. Right now, no. no. <laughs> so I was with this woman, she's like, so, uh, Vicky, hmm. do you ever drink alone? Right? <laughs> Question number one. And I'm like, no, only alcoholics drink alone. I read all the pamphlets in your office, okay? I'm good. I always wait till the kids get home from school, right? <laughs> I have discipline, right? Even those little bitches, when's it gonna be three o'clock or something? 
Being a mom today is completely different. You know, I was raised in the generation where we, you know, we're let to run wild, the last of that. And no, you, you, it's, you're on it. And, and until they're five, if anything happens to them, it's your fault. It's on you. You have to take that whole burden. After five, you go, hey, you know, they might have had a little something to do with walking out that ledge. But until five, it's all on you. It's hard, you know, because I grew up in the 70s, right? And when I got pregnant, I thought, party on, right? I put my party hat on, right? Because my mom and her friends, they party 24-7. They didn't work and I mean, they didn't cook, they didn't do anything. They just drank and had a great time, right? So I think this is what's gonna happen, right? But no, you know, we gotta haul our kids into sports, keep them off drugs, right? Such bull, right? Because drugs are so much cheaper than sports, am I right? right? And the worst day of every mom's life, and you all know that the worst day is that first day of season when the fat little coach comes up to you with the fundraising candy bars. And you got no friends when you're trying to unload $10 candy bars, right? No friends. No. People back up, you know, like the mules at the Grand Canyon when they see me coming. $10 candy bars, can't sell them, gotta eat them. What's for dinner? My mom and her friends, they brought flasks on field trips. Am I alone? Am I alone? I can't be alone, right? Right on. So I think that's totally normal. So I go on my daughter's first field trip, right? I take my little flask, you know, and it's not some big alky flask, you know, it's a beautiful little four ounce or little designer flask, Mother of Pearl, it's nice. And I take a little drop, you know, like I stay sober with first graders, not now, not ever, ever. <laughs> But the other moms on the field trip, the other field trip moms are like, oh my God, she's got a flask, you know, like I'm some kind of Al-Qaeda terrorist, right? And I'm like, calm down, Biatch. I'm not driving the bus. Right? But it's worse, like for the young moms, worse for you. You girls gotta teach your babies to read. Oh my God! What's your, what's your baby reading today? Oh, baby read some Tennyson, stupid baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> teach your baby to read. I don't want my baby to read. I don't want my baby walking around going, what's past due? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks so much for coming out. Hey, did you like the show? It's pretty funny, huh? Chicks are funny. Yeah. Thanks for supporting women comics. We love it. We need it. Thumbs up.